29 killers, 50 head-to-head -head games of most hooks win. This is Slate's World Cup of Dead by Daylight Killers. The Cannibal, having won the previous tournament, the FIMA main tournament, which gave us the seedings for the World Cup, did not have to go through the group stages, gets immediately into the playoff picture, has a wild card game to take on the clown to secure his position in the quarterfinals. Well, it's going to be Midwich and the Bubba Camp elated with that one. They really fancy their boy in Midwich here, especially with the short range aura reading, which will be able to go upstairs as well as down. Bubba going to get the chainsaw rearing, and there we go! Was only going to go to the door instead, finds a survivor, but, but the tantrum! But the tantrum, but they stay in the locker! They stay in the locker! They could have left far sooner the tantrum into the doorway. Bubba thrown a lifeline there, and what a start! What a start for him! He is going to break that door, he is going to move away, did see a survivor. Really distantly over here. Wow. And sometimes the mark of a champion, of course it's skill, but it's also a little bit of luck. And the Bubba, a very lucky camper there. And finds another chase right here. Gonna take it on early. Oh, what a move. What a move. It's like he never left. It is like he never left, and he's going to get another grab here. Another grab and another hook. A masterful little moonwalk with the chainsaw through the pallet. And this is what he does time and time again. Run from it all you like. The cannibal will emerge regardless, and he looks to be emerging again in a really strong way. Do you have, do you have scratch marks over here, Papa? Trying to get a sense of where they're going. They're going to go in for the unhook. Do they get this? This could be, oh my god, three people in here. Cannibal, you know about the unhooked denial the cannibal has. There will be a pallet burn. Cannibal going to keep on them. And get that pallet destroyed and then take the chase once more. Survivor heading around this way. The opportunity this for the cannibal. An injured party doesn't necessarily need to go chainsaw if he doesn't want to. Hesitation here. I wouldn't do this. Hope of hesitation. Guess a bit of hesitation. They surely burn. They don't burn. Wow. Has a cannibal here around this pallet. Met his match. Brilliant stuff from them. Going to keep on running. They know they have the distance. There's bloodlust for Bubba. They can't keep this going for too long because Bubba might become undeniably fast. This is extraordinary. Extraordinary stuff. They go for the chainsaw looking for the speed. Won't be able to do anything. Has to take a really wide line. A really wide line. Let's get this one going. They're going to run through again. What's going on with the Bubba? Maybe wrestling on its laurels to a certain degree. And there you go. It is off the record. We should have seen that one coming a little bit sooner. Feels like... Could this be a cost-sunk fallacy here? Feels like he can't really give up the chase. So a strong, strong start for the Bubba. Not a strong fart for the Bubba. But an overlong chaser may be, may be a tricky mid game for him. Use the chainsaw to get this door broken. There is someone around here. Good awareness from him. Ah, oh, well played from them. Very well played. Cannibal Camp was thinking about Bamboozle before this game. Decided against it. That would have been a great help there. And what was such a strong early game now is becoming maybe a little bit more even. The survivor's clawing it back nicely. Cannibal going to go chainsaw early. Trying to pick up the pace. Trying to get the chase. Oh, couldn't quite rev in time. They do have a window to the left. They won't be able to get there. Can they now? Are oh, we going to rev early? They are blocked. Ah, oh, they're just making a meal out of this now. Oh, and not, not waiting for the charges to replenish. Is this the cannibal forgetting himself, forgetting how this game is played? There we go. Oh, finally needed that after a long period of inactivity. And 
will be able to make this a basement hook, although... Oh boy, Lover is proving a very tricky customer here. Can he get down? Can he get down? This is a new revamped basement. First time we'll have seen them. Oh, and he can't quite. He can't quite. And there goes a gen. It is all falling apart. What was originally a boisterous atmosphere in a cannibal camp now becoming very, very upset. Quiet. Now, remembering it's boil over, are they going to go for it all? Or are they going to try and get there? Uh, get, go for a safer gen. They're going to go down to the basement again. This is massively risky for Nababa. Can't avoid any stoppages. Can't avoid any blockages from Boil Over. Taking a nice line so far. It's going to be really close. Oh, just got stuck on the stairs. Will that be denial again? It will be. What's the cannibal doing? He can't afford to give up this amount of time to this arena. Knows it's Boil Over. She's gone and he has to lick his wounds and head elsewhere. <laughs> Getting the door kicked. Keeping the map managed as best he can. What a fall from grace for this cannibal. Oh, and wasn't quite able to body block the pallet in the way that he would have liked. Let's get the pallet burnt there. The Yui may be uh, trying to fake out. Trying to fake out heading down the ramp isn't wasn't. He's going to head this way. Oh, nicely maneuvered. That's what he can do. That's what he was doing five minutes ago. Maybe finding his footing again with that move. He's not going to go for the basement here. He's learned his lesson. He's going to take the hook upstairs. There goes another gen. And there are only only three hooks to his name. He's brought it back from the brink before, but he will have to do so again if he wants to stay in this tournament. It's he barbecue and chili aura. It's gonna finally kick a gen. Here's one thing that Bubba has not been doing at all so far, kicking those gens. Oh! He just had an inkling. He just had a hunch that they would be fearing barbecue and chili, hiding in a locker. What a move. And that is the kind of thing, that's the kind of awareness that can bring the game back. Amazing stuff from the cannibal. Gets the hook. Moving over to the room with the unhook over here. Finds a couple of survivors fleeing. Great opportunity, this. Chasing basically all three. Someone falls down. They're going to have to head this way. They're going to go for the rocks. What a move. What a move. Chose his target. Stayed the course. Got the dying state. Someone else follows here. Awakened awareness to give the aura reading. They have Sabo. They do. Bubba has to move elsewhere. And will he get to this hook? Will it be another horrible denial? It won't be. Great awareness from the Bubba, seeing the Fast Survivor, seeing the Saboteur about to be pulled out of the bag and countering it ably. The scratch marks just end. And then pivot back. What a move that is. Going around here. There is the Feng. Should be going to go for the window over here. Will do so. Now, are they going to try and keep on looping around that window? No, they have live. They have live. They're using that to take the cannibal away. Five hooks to his name. He'll need more than that. The clown will not go down on the basis of a five-hook performance. Good stuff. Using the aura reading for the battle. Oh! Sends the chainsaw, the teeth of the chainsaw, grinding against sheer masonry. And with it, loses the fang. It's a game of almosts. A game of almosts and nearlies. And there's a dead half and the fang. Grabbing salt into the wound with the endurance effects. Won't be a window over here. The, the gen is really moving, but the cannibal just wants another hook. Wants to play aggressively. A chainsaw. Won't get too much of any... A chainsaw. A flashlight. Won't get too much of anything done there. And another hook will be on the way. You do feel like he needs a survivor out of here. See awakened awareness downstairs. A survivor on that gen. This gen also moving. Being pressured on multiple fronts. Both survivors over there. What a bit of aura reading that is. Cannibal gonna kick. Make like he haven't makes like make like he hasn't seen the survivors. Gonna red early go around here. Masterful! Masterful from the reigning champion, from the Find My Main Tournament winner. Those are the kind of plays that he makes day in, day out. Hook downstairs. One person dead. Three survivors remaining. Two gens remaining. Two survivors remaining! 
And when things were looking so bleak for the Bubba, suddenly two Survivor Protocol is among us. The thing right here, it's not the end, but the curtains might be beginning to fall. Oh my God, by the barest of margins, Feng outpacing the chainsaw and runs away over here. No pallet here. Good map management so far from the Bubba. Wants to wait for all three of those charges. Will do so. They surely burn. They do. They try and run over this way. Cannibal keeps on them. There's another pallet over here. There's another survivor over here. Moreover. What a move. What a pivot. And you know Cannibal. Cannibal's not going to give this up to chance. He's going to try and take his... Dying states where he can. Feng tries to run past. Bubba with a chainsaw. No panic here. What's the 4K? How's he not getting it? Incredible for the Feng. Gets another rev. Waiting down here. Feng trying to go through the panic. Won't get it. Unbelievable scenes from the cannibal. A bit of rust. A bad mid game. Some overlong chases. Assuming he can find Zarina. Oh, and that's a big. That's a big assumption. There she is. Looks like it will be the 12 hook performance. Don't say it just yet, though, because where's your hook? One in here. Should be very easily achievable. And when you fail to hook Zarina in the basement two times over, you have to be thinking, is this where the cannibal finally falters and falls? But no, he comes back in an exceptionally strong manner. Looks to be wrapping it up here. Could there be a sting in the towel? Could there be boil over? There's not. There's no wiggling. And there you go. That's game. That's game. Only in a matter of 4%. 4%. Opportunities for the Fang. No. The arena's dead. No opportunities for an escape. Well, there might have been. They're not taking them. And there you go. Confirmed. Wow. What a comeback performance. Maybe three minutes. Three minutes of cannibal gameplay where he wasn't feeling himself, where he wasn't in the groove, so to speak. But that, that was put to bed very sharply. And that was a classic bubble we have all seen. Time and time again. So, the only hope for the clown camp. Can they get a 4K? Can they take this to a repeat performance? Can they take this to another game to decide the wild card? Or will it be Cannibal in the quarterfinals? And after a game like that, who, who would argue against him going all the way? And this, this, will, this will turn the tide here because you feel like if the clown can match it, Dead by Daylight, it's a game of momentum. I've said it a million times. And you feel like if he can match that performance, maybe momentum will be on his side. Here we go. Wrecker's not quite the map that Bubba had, but not, not an insurmountable proposition for the clown. Gonna get some speed bottles, spies the survivor to the left, he's gonna head over there immediately. Now, can he, put a, can he put a hook on the board with the same speed that the Bubba was able to? Make like he's gonna kick, but of course he sees Mikado over here. That's scream sprint burst, not sprint burst. Not sprint burst, just trying to hide, but wasn't able to. Pam runs out of bottles, is gonna reload. It's not going to fall into the trap of not reloading. They're going to wait out the pallet. That serves the clown brilliantly because they had, they had the opportunity to get far away while the clown's reloading. Going to try to seal the deal with a few bottles, waiting out dead hearts. There's dying state. And Jolt on that gen, also huge. Can he convert this into a scourge hook? There is one over there. You're playing with fire. A body block, a sabotage could be on the cards. But if you can get this hook... If you can put pressure on the gens, that would be huge. Can you get pain res on that gen? It's going to be close. Does get pain res on the gen. Doesn't need to worry about kicking it. We'll take on the ash here. There is someone else in the main building as well. Are they going to tap the gen? Will they pivot back quickly? And the right call. There's Richie. Falling from the heavens like a gift from God. Going back up. And the clown. The clown must be feeling pretty confident about this one. Where does Richie go? Has to fall down again. No chance of bounce landing. We know that. Into the gas he goes. Another bottle. It's all over for Yuichi. Further jolt regression on that scary gen. This is exactly, exactly the start the clown was hoping for. There's the unhook on the there's the unhook from the scourge hook. Ash made a half-hearted effort to body block there. And they have done bad things for their team in freeing up that scourge hook. This one will get regressing again. 
Skurjuk activates on a different gem, which is a scary prospect. Someone else sitting on a gem. But the clan has to be really happy how the game's gone so far. A couple of quick hooks. Going to get the speed bottle, get the pallet kick. Can you keep on Ash here? I'll keep on Ash, but you can find someone else here. It'll be near Carlson. Takes an injury. Oh, an opportunity for the hypotenuse. Nia doubles back around. Nia doesn't quite know where to go. He's caught on the edge. In in a, in, a, in, a, in amongst these rocks. And moving around here. Needs this. Oh, how have you let her get away? Oh, won't do for long. Won't do for long. Elicit the pallet burn. A well-placed bottle to misdirect. And this might be the third hook before a gen even pops. It'll be close again. So they get that gen before pain res. They don't. But a different gem pops with pain res. Wow. There is a scarier gen out there. That is interesting. I'm very happy with how this is going. Interesting. Interesting. It's certain that someone was up here. And, and was right to check. Was right to check. That would be Michaela. Does Yuichi free up this hook? They really shouldn't. They do. They do. They should have waited a little bit longer. Yuichi going to take a hit, but there will be plenty of time. Plenty of time to get the Scourge hook here. Incredible. Incredible from the clown. What a game from the cannibal, but the clown might be proving to be well up to the task here. You're waiting out dead hard. It's not going to be there. Remarkable stuff around that one Scourge hook. Not only is it four hooks, it's four hooks on that one Scourge hook. We'll finally take a, a non Scourge hook here. Will not mind that one bit at all. What a start. And we may be looking at an immediate replay of the wildcard game. This is preposterous gaming. Get speed bottle. Take a rest. We've earned a little bit of a rest. Take a rest. Survey the area. A couple of hooks over here. They need to move to you. Are you, as clown, very happy with five gems left to patrol what you have earned over here with the aura reading? I think the clown camp is saying that has to be the play, and the clown agrees here. The aura reading with what that provides you might be able to get to two survival protocol before you know it and why would you pass up an opportunity like this one kill over here will be confirmed you're actually not going to be far behind it's going to be two survival protocol and a gen has not even popped this is unbelievable and i think maybe unprecedented in this tournament and there's another survivor it's the injured nia carlson the sun is shining on Ken. The sun is shining on this game. But do remember, there is still room for a twist, a sting in the tail. If someone gets a hatch escape. <laughs> if someone gets a hatch escape. It is going to be tough. It's going to be still a loss. He knows that the hatch is in Killer Shack. That's where he's going to look. You'd love to find Ash and make Killer Shack just a non-option. A non can he do it? Can he head over here? There's no gem moving over here, so that's not where Ash is. You'd love to leave it completely not up to chance. Oh, but it will be, right? You know Hatch is going to be here. You know Ash is nowhere to be seen. You've not seen him with the aura reading. There he is! Oh, no! You need to keep close. You're waiting on Hatch. There it is! Press his face! He keeps hope alive! He keeps hope alive! And Ash, right here, it feels like it's very difficult barring a key. You don't see a key, do you? You don't see a key here, do you? No, it's a med kit. What a play from the clown. Didn't take up the chase. Went instead for the immediate Hatch close, knowing he had the advantage in that situation. And it looks like it will be. What a game from the clown. A replay. Assuming... Assuming a hook is here for him, there will be. It will be a replay of the wild card. Two 4Ks apiece. What incredible scenes hearing wreckers. Wow. And this truly is the tournament that keeps on giving. That is unbelievable skill and prowess from both killers. Baba says, hey, give it your best shot. Clown says, okay, I will. We're over to a replay here. Oh, okay.
amazing. The scenes are unbelievable. And real presence of mind from Ken in the heat of the moment to not take the hit, not take the chase, instead to make sure he went to the hatch immediately and got the clothes. Did what he needed to do to keep himself alive. And now the cannibal. Thinking, what... What do I have to do to get into these quarterfinals? Oh, and that's Ormond. How do you feel about this one? Generally speaking, not a great map for killer. Cannibal might not mind it too much. Lots of open space, lots of free reign to move around with that chainsaw. And we're going to try and check out these two gens. See anyone? Up ahead, so pivots around. Sort of plumped roughly in the middle of the map. It's always difficult to know where you patrol. From that point, there you go. Early chase here. Someone to the left, someone to the right. Gonna pivot right. They surely go window, they do. Father, gonna make sure that door is kicked. Come back here. You do not want to lose middle gen. If you lose any gen, make sure it isn't middle gen. That's the one you wanna keep above all else. See some scratch marks up here. Might feel like there's an opportunity for a chase. Gonna burn this door. Give the Cheryl a fright and a half. An opportunity here. Oh, but can he get it? Oh! So desperately close to the chainsaw through the pallet. Remarkable presence of mind to get the stun regardless. And Cannibal has to move on, has to move aside. But already, maybe shaky ground. Maybe the toughest test we've seen so far this stream. A little bit of fake out around there. Surely a pallet burn. Can move around. An opportunity here. Another opportunity. He can't quite get it. And it's another pallet stun, which is so, so tricky to time against the cannibal and not just simply have the pallet be burnt immediately. An early chainsaw opportunity is going to pass cannibal by. We'll simply kick the gen. Get the regression there. Going to head upstairs again. That middle gen. So absolutely vital. See someone moving downstairs. Is there an opportunity here? Heads up play from the cannibal, but the survivor wise to it. Keeps on running. Falls down again. No bounce landing. Could be an opportunity for Cannibal to make up, make up some ground. But these are not the chases you want if you're the Cannibal and you have seen how strong the clown has been. Two gens pop and more where that came from if this chase does not come to a close in a timely fashion. In a timely fashion, I... The Cannibal there and me not expecting the pallet stun. Great play. The tide might be turning. Do you hear that in the distance, faintly on the wind? Do, 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 do we get a pit check? No! No chainsaw hit here! No chainsaw hit, and it's looking so tough. So tough. Cheryl fleeing the scene entirely. Cannibal left entirely in the lurch. There's an okay gen situation. At least, God, it needs to be, because there's been nothing, nothing in the way of hooks here. That's deception, is it? It is. It is. What a misdirect from the team as well. To protect Michaela, who maybe. Maybe. Another another locker sound. Is it up here? Very confused as a cannibal. As to what's been going on with those lockers. Has a chase with the Cheryl. Could this be it? Could this be what he needed? That's the aura reading from the revs. Finally, doesn't get stunned by a pallet. Actually breaks it with the chainsaw. That's what he's been looking for all game long. Too many pallets to the face here. Gonna rev early. Looking for the... Looking to close down the chase. Looking to get it done. Looking for a hook. Finally. Gonna tantrum here. They're on the other side, but they come out too early. Cannibal had the wrong locker. But turning and still connecting with the chainsaw. And that is a, a bit of fortune that he had to have go his way. Finally gets a hook. Barbecue and chili for some aura reading. No one on any of the gens distantly. That's good for the cannibal. And keep this game in his favor. Has Cheryl over here. They're going to run away. Looking for a hit. Gets it. Gets it. And, and the door break. Wow. They hit the survivor and the door break with a chainsaw. That is something I've not seen in a very long time. Flexing, possibly, is the cannibal. Might need to focus more on the game and less on the theatrics here, but... Regardless, a very good dying state, a very good hook. The unhook happens over here. Gonna immediately move into the gem, which is moving at pace. 
You need to keep this on sides to the best of your abilities. A kick will do wonders there. Someone going in for the unhook, are they? Are they pivoting right? Someone else may be looking for the unhook. They're not going to go for it. At least not immediately. Going to rev early. The little moonwalk's not really doing much. And another pallet burn. Another pallet stun on the cannibal. A sore head indeed from the number of pallets being applied directly to the bombs here. There's the unhook. Another opportunity on the right-hand side near Coulson, I think. Fleeing the scene, trying to keep around the loop. Yes, indeed. There's an immediate pallet burn. And we're going to simply kick that and then try and take the chase over to the right. Here, yeah, does take him to another pallet. Wow. Being beset by pallets here is a cannibal. Not a bad move, but I mean, all to do around the loop as safe as this. At least let's get the pallet burn. Going to take the chase. One charge. Is it enough? He's going to go for it. He gets it. An eruption. Eruption on the middle gen. Don't look now, but could this be a comeback for the cannibal? Needed that dying state. Needed it quick. That gen must have been close with two people trying to commit to it. A survivor distantly. Rolling around the corner. Progression is on that gen. Someone upstairs. I'm going to go after the survivor crawling around here. Maybe a good opportunity to close this chase down. Are they the person going in for the unhook? Cannibal really wants to put the... But the stop on that, and we'll be able to. Someone else has to move in for that unhook. That will keep the gens regressing. Six of three predicts they're going to go around here. Could this be an amazing play for the cannibal? What a move! What a move! Saw them going for what they assumed to be the safety of the window. Countered that, moved around. What a play. Another hook over here. But all the while, this gen will be moving. There's someone on it. Can the cannibal get back in time? Maybe a rev in the chainsaw early to try and put the scare on them, to try and get them away from that gem. And you do so successfully. Able to get Call of Brine, eruption, back on the gem. And what started off as such a rough situation for the cannibal, maybe now things are looking a little bit more positive. There's the unhook. Trying to heal on hook, Bubba won't allow that, of course. Caesar Cheryl going for a chainsaw early. There go, window. And we're going to stop the chainsaw. There is an injured party here. And gets a dying state. Gets a dying state. Eruption again on the middle gen. So massive. Barring DS, it will be another hook. Oh, they are able to. No, not the middle gen. Cannibal thinking. That would have been middle gen. It isn't. Can afford to let this gen go. Looking for auras with the rev. Can't see anyone. You can see someone over there. The middle gen is moving. Do you try and take the chase? Do you put the aggression on? Or do you go after the middle gen? Bubba's going to go after the middle gen. Oh, but too late. And now that makes your decision for you. You simply go after the survivor in a situation like this. A window. They do. Bubba here. Needs to hit. Going to tantrum into the gonna tantrum into the locker. Do they have the precise timing you need? Spamming space to get the grab. Oh, gets it. Gets it. Their timing just a little bit off. A great effort from them. One gen. But the hook over here may keep the pressure up. Looking for Bubkin. Shall he see it over there? Jen behind us not moving. Survivor trying to flee in this direction. Can the cannibal preempt that? Moving along, trying to push them back to where the gens are. That's the plan. That's the plan. Can he do it? Revving's trying to see an aura. They've gone back into the middle. Is that them going for the unhook? The unhook certainly does happen. Jen over here moving. Cannibal going to take this moment to get the game back in his favour. It's a really nice three gen, all situated on one side of Ormond. That's what you want. It's that rare thing, a three gen on Ormond, where you don't have the middle gen. Looking for auras with the rev, won't quite see it. You see someone off to the left. And with all the gens, either at zero or with Call of Brine applied to them, feels like he is able to take the chase, but not for long. There's a gem moving. They try and counter that way. Gonna go through the window. Are they gonna go immediately? They do. A great opportunity here. Barring bad standing. It will be, I think, maybe live there. Great play from Michaela, but Barbara's still on them. They're gonna go window. Gonna rev immediately. Only one charge. Will that be enough? Not quite. Desperately close. Inches short. Has one more rev. Will this be enough? Yes, it will. Oh, my God. Must have caught just a, an ankle as Michaela went into the locker there. 
That'll be eruption on that gen that was moving. That's huge. Another hook here is also huge. Seven in total. Getting more and more formidable. A task for the clown who maybe dared to dream earlier. Barely any gen movement there. You know this gen is moving over here. Going to get a little bit closer with all three charges. Now you move. You want them off that gen as soon as possible. So you need to rev in. Okay, they have already fled the scene. Getting the kick. Getting the red. Looking for auras, of course. No one around here, but Cannibal can see. Jen nicely regressing. Unhook over here. It begins tough. It, be it begins to get tough to see how the survivors break apart this stalemate if the Cannibal remains resolute and restrained and keeps on the gems. Here we go. Again, look for some more as you get more than that. You see it's about straight up. It's near around the rocks, alas. Okay, he needs to chase her a little bit more conventionally. There they go. Great opportunity here. Great opportunity for the Cannibal. There it is. Moreover, eruption on the two pressured gens. A basement hook opportunity down to the right hand side. And this might turn into a game of table tennis. 12 hook performance to 12 hook performance. Looking that way here for the cannibal. See one survivor over there. One survivor unaccounted for. Cannibal doesn't care about the unhook necessarily. Going to go in for the surefire thing. Sees a survivor fleeing the scene. Going to get another kick. There's the base with unhook. Scariest gen by far over here. Get that regressing. Moving back. You know there's a survivor over here. If there's no aura reading. You see them in a the locker. Revving again. There they are. First thing into action is a cannibal. Has the vision. Ah, oh, just tantrums. Try to maneuver backwards. Just in case they felt emboldened to go back over the window. Make like you haven't seen Michaela. Of course you have. You double back. Won't be enough in the charge here, surely. No, do you get the pallet burn? You do not. You might go for, in a game that has been just chainsaw hits. Oh, and there might be another opportunity here. Get the pallet burn quickly. And now, where is there for Michaela to run? Going to get a chainsaw ready. Did they get the pallet? Not a bad move for the cannibal. Trying to keep them guessing, moving back the opposite way around the pallet. Doesn't quite do enough. Michaela gets the window. It will be live. Is this done enough? Not quite. Not quite. And Bubba, I think, feeling like too much time spent on that chase is going to get back to the gens. Because this game could move away from him very quickly indeed. Great play by Michaela. Great play by them both to be honest. And here we go. This is a gen that is moving. Are they waiting around here? I've been back that way. You're making sure you're getting the kick. You're having a look at this gen as well. She's also moving and there's a survivor fleeing the scene in that direction. LeBron back on that gen. They're doing exactly what they need to do. Pressuring the, the cannibal along multiple fronts. That's still regressing. So you probably head back to the gen that you know was being moved earlier. You won't be able to get it fully moving. You won't be able to repair it. Another kick. The tension is huge here. Looking for an aura. Can't quite see one. Do get chase music. For who and, and from where is a good question. Trying to subvert expectations. Will he be able to do it? He won't. They'll get the window. They're playing very well around that double window loop. Cannibal sort of powerless to stop it right now. They know they've got a good thing going. Trying to get some noise notifications. Saying, Cannibal, come over here. Cannibal's going to, again, restraint. Sticking to the gens. Can't let this one go. That's moving far too much. No auras because they're going to head back to the building. You can't just keep on playing this game. At some point, you need to say, right, I'm going in for a chase. Cannibal decides to do that right now. Heading upstairs preemptively. Trying to cut them off here, maybe. Looking for any aura reading at all. Won't get any. 
What a tough situation it is. They're immediately back on the gen. Time and time again. Oh, they're able to flee the scene. And there goes the gen. Masterfully played. But Cannibal still in. So they go window. They do. Cannibal expecting the fake out. There is no fake out. There is only the vault. And Cannibal won't be able to make up this ground with simply the chainsaw charges. It's looking less and less likely that it will be a 4K. The question might now be how many hooks can the Cannibal salvage from this effort? How tricky a situation can he make it for the Clown? The Clown goes down a surgeon after that performance. That's the fall from Nia running back into the building. Surely another survivor on the gate. Both gates on that side. A, 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 an a, a W for the Bubba there. The fact that both gates are on the other side. They need to move a great distance to get there. Cannibal on their tail. Great opportunity here. And then, then you rely. You pray for altruism. They've gone through the window. Great opportunity. Round here we go. The cannibal keep it up pressure. What a, what a chainsaw. Under immense pressure. There goes the gate. Is this going to be a death hook? It could be a death hook. And maybe that's why they're immediately leaving. Okay. We'll see how many hook states the cannibal does accrue here. You're hoping it is a death hook. It is. That will only be nine. Nine for the cannibal. Some During this tournament, nine, nine or ten has appeared to be the benchmark, the par score. Cannibal hoping against hope that it will be good enough here. But after how that clown has performed. You feel like you're taking, you're taking bets on the clown here and the clown bet might pay out. So I think the best way, there's always a temptation to try and meet them on their own terms for content. I think the thing to do, in all honesty, is to ignore them. Say GG's if you want to, then bounce. Because there's, it's that thing a bit like playing chess against a pigeon. They'll shit on the board and act like they won. There's no, there's no, there's nothing to be gained there. Right, there is lots to be gained in this game. And Cannibal, uh, Cannibal Clown, hoping for a 10 hook performance. Gonna get some more reading. And with it, see someone over here. Good injury. Pallet burn. Gonna keep on them. Great stuff. Really, really good intel gains from the double purple add-ons. They're not gonna burn the pallet immediately. They won't there either. Waiting out death hard. There it is. Great dying state. Great opening. Two stacks. Save the best for last. Jolt on an impactful gen as well. Scourge hook. Maybe that one's makeable. But Clown did see the cannibal. And the folly of trying to enable certain hooks. And it's not going to go down the same path. Get the door. Get some speed. Gonna reload. Head upstairs. Looking for auras, of course. Don't see any immediately. Taking this pallet. Moving it along and there's Ash. Wow. Ash running towards the clown saying, hey, hey, I'm here as well. Clown more than happy to take him up on that offer. Did kick the door, so that gives Ash an easy out. But a bottle here. They're going to get the pallet. They go back over immediately. They don't. Well played from the Ash. That's incredible restraint from the Ash. Oh, and a dead hard to boot. Well played. Very nicely done. Clearly another one who loves to rock, who loves to chase the Ash. And they played amazingly there. Good bottle. There's one over here. Surely they burn. They do. They move around. No dead hard here. Should be a dying state for now. There it is. But... Well played from the Ash for sure. No bottles left. And, uh, what are you going to do? You're going to kick the door over here, remembering as you do, there is a Scourge hook. Exactly, right in that corridor. Getting the grab on the Ash. One Jen has popped. Hello. <laughs> One Jen has popped. It's not quite going to be the dominant performance on Wreckers, but... A strong start from the Clown regardless. And that's the Pain Rest Gen, which is so good. If that's the gen that is moving the most, Clown will be very happy with that. They get the aura reading here, because you do did see someone waiting in the wings. Oh, and there they are. Or over. That's incredible play from them. Do get a hit. They ran behind the Clown. Clown would have had no idea were it not for the scream. Very grateful for the sound design there. Does get the injury. Through the window, another hook moving through this game very quickly is the clown. And the gen pressure, as it stands, not too insurmountable. I head back into this room, back to this hook. Strong start from the clown. The clown camp 
beginning, maybe, to believe. The double purple add-ons again. The aura reading provided by them so strong. It looks to be the case again. Looking for all, looking for more auras. You find one over here. Get a bottle there. Gonna get the door kicked. Get him away from the window with the bottle. Very nicely done. Let's catch him with the edge of that. Should be an injury. There it is. And they're going down the stairs. Great opportunity, this. A gen does pop. But an opportunity for another quick hook and just more pressure. But on this game, there's no window there. You're waiting out dead hard, of course. Whoa, the restrained play from the Elodie. What a delay on the dead hard. They are around the pallet. Gonna move around this way. Right, thankfully, won't pay too dearly for the dead hard. No scourge hooks. In fact, the hook over there taken. Oh, look at this. Once again. Once again, maybe an unhookable situation here on Midwich. Time and time again, you see it. Can Clown get to the basement? Going to be close. Going to be really close. Dust just gets it. Just gets it. That was unbelievably tense for the Clown there. If you lose that hook, with how quickly the gens now may be moving, you begin to feel very concerned about the state of the game. Be happy to get the basement hook. Moving along here, wants to play a gen regression game. Keep these gens in check. You see it's above down here. Screw the gens. Screw the gens. You're going to take the aggro. Deny the pace, uh, deny the base on hook, and uh, the world could be your oyster. There's the hit. We've saved us. They run back. They run back. Wow. Caught in two minds about the base on hook. Clown swapping, trading, not even trading, adding to the basement hook tally. And now, I mean, look at this situation. If you're the clown, it's an unhook. Get an injury. Serena wants to take a hook, a, a hit over here. You want to wait this one out as much as you can. You want to get this hit over here. You get it? There's Ash. Ash is here for some reason. Hi. <laughs> Gonna leave them in basement just a little while longer. Want an injury here. But won't do any more than that. You do fear. Exactly this. Someone coming in. Someone coming in trying to get a pickup on Claudette in basement. And that'll be a hook down here. Wow. What a game state. Basically falling into the lap of the clown. Another hook takes it to six. Another hook takes it to seven. Three gens still remaining. It's, begun it's becoming far trickier to see a path for the cannibal to the quarterfinals. In fact, if both of those survivors die, it will be a draw. So clown could camp basement to confirm the draw. He gave him more than that if he closed down this chase of Ash. Slow this bottle down here. Ash will get the unhooks. Oh, they're going to try and go for the save here. A grab. Oh, just denied the animation. Going to get BT on Claudette. Serena's here. It's reality's here. What's this? I have no idea what's going on. The clown camp have no idea what's going on. The cannibal camp are furious. And get some uh, speed over here. Getting the pick up. And this will be the ninth hook. If you can get this hook, it is a confirmed draw. Any other hooks from there will be a win. So if you can connect with Sanity, if you can wait out that hard, there it is. And if you can get this hook, it is a win for the clown. Has he done it? Has he secured his quarterfinal playoff pace? He has. He has. It's a clown quarterfinal. The clown will be taking on the hag in the fourth and final quarterfinals. What a game. And it's only the wild card. Wow. That is unbelievable stuff. I'm gonna throw the speed bottle now. Purely playing for pride and for survivor misery, the one thing that unites all of these competitors. Actually, got Ravash. What a move. What a move from the clown. Purely showboating now. The lunge over the gap to get the dying state. Truly, truly a remarkable bit of grit and resilience from the clown. Another hook over here. Uh, what we've witnessed is incredible and what we've witnessed is a champion, a possible champion here. That is a champion performance. And look at that cannibal. The cannibal gets through on a bye, doesn't have to worry about any, any of the group stage shenanigans. But plainly looks like a little bit of rust accrued. 
handle. And that will be the clown going through. What an extraordinary game it's been. Looking for a bottle to connect here at will. Looking for another one. Trying to deny the pallet if you can. Another bottle. They move right. They pivot right. They dead hard. They do not. Simply taking us through a hook. We appreciate that. What a game. You can hear the oversized shoes squeak as they bounce in now clown. Indeed you can. They'll be dancing all over various circuses tonight. What a performance. A double pit moreover. What? What a couple of games that has been though. Hannibal slipped up and the clown brutally, mercilessly able to capitalize. A couple of four cases the clown sets him up in very good stead. What will be a really tough showdown against the hag so there we go world card game done now it is time to move on to our quarterfinal 